What is it about a smell that can take you back? Music takes you back. Smells take you back. <laughs> channel thank you for coming back for another project today I am happy to go back to a project that I started working on in recent months a couple of you guys may have joined me on my live on Facebook and we painted these candle holders behind me we did them in a chippy style they're gorgeous one time when we were vlogging and thrifting together. This is done with our new milk paint color. We have one of the last 10 new colors that we launched called Neptune. And yes, when you put milk paint over shiny glossy surfaces, it loves to chip, which is what we see right there. I think I sealed this at one point with our monkey shine and the other way that you can seal it if you ever want to make sure that the chippiness stops is to seal it with our banana peel with our poly acrylic think of it like a seal all over it it creates like a band-aid all over it and it helps those chippies hold back so these have been sitting in the living room waiting for me to put some candles into it and to like get the final spot for these gorgeous pieces to go now you guys know that I have Bit of an obsession when it comes to candle holders. I love candle abras, I love candles, I love single, I don't know, I just love all the candlesticks. I wanna take them all home. I don't care if there's a pair of them. I don't care if they're all mismatched. Somehow I just take them all and create bundles. I love candle holders. I just need a shirt that says, I love candle holders. And I don't necessarily burn the candles because I'm more of a tart, just a you know smelly tart type girl throwing them into my tart warmer. I feel safer that way. So I'm not somebody who tends to burn candles, but I do love them to decorate with. Anybody else out there? Well, yes, if the power went completely off, yeah, you could totally use them if you want to. But for me and today, I am looking to finally put some nice white candlesticks in these dark blue holders, they're gorgeous and just you know finally get them done and put them in place my living room as you know i've shared with you guys in the past i have a like a dark blue it's got aqua and white and yellow tones in my big um my big rug that's on the floor there and we painted the enter entertainment stand which was a buffet at one point uh we painted that be my honey you guys have seen me paint my white tables that are in my living room and so I'm thinking white candle holders for in here just to keep with the, you know, got some dark and we got the blues, but we need the, the pops of white. There's lots of dark wood throughout this house. So keeping it nice and bright and happy. Yeah, I want to do that. So today I went to the Dollar Tree. It's my favorite place to get cheap candles. Do you have a favorite spot that you tend to go to? If so, tell us all because if we have that same store, we might want to check it out too. Usually I can find white candles, beige candles, like the creamy colored ones. Those two are always a given. And then, then sometimes they have like metallic ones and like, you know, red ones and different colors like that for the seasons as well. And for a dollar, I get a pack. So yeah, I got more than just a pack because I've got a couple candles holders that we've painted together and I have not found the candles for just yet. I went at one point, I think to Walmart, they were cleared out of candles. Like what was up with that? I don't know. But anyway, today I found lots of them. So I did go ahead and stock up on lots of nice, fresh white 
candles. So you guys told me a trick. You've seen me paint lots of candle holders and sometimes when you get them at the thrift store, they could be a little wonky on the top, right? Like your candle doesn't want to sit up straight into them because maybe, I don't know, this piece up here is a little bit worn or bent. The nice thing is with these, I can actually kind of like pinch them together and get them into shape. But sometimes just the way that little um, socket that your candle goes into, it could be bent or something like that, or maybe they're just made weird and that's how they made it to the uh, thrift store, that your candle will not stand up in it straight. Well, maybe if you put it into it and don't blow on it and just like stand it there and don't look at it, it'll stay up, right? But they tend to fall over. And so one time you guys saw me and I was putting little bits of like uh, paper towel down uh, below my candle so that I could like really tighten up the socket that they sit into so that my candle would stay up straight and then one of you guys wrote and you went Sonia did you know that if you put some play-doh in the bottom of those candles it's a great way to create the mold for your candle sticks to hold into stand into and I'm like oh, that's a brilliant idea so today is the day we're gonna test it together by the way, if you hear my little puppies in the background, that's Oreo and Tiki saying hello to you. I'm out here working on this project pretty close to them right now, so they probably want my attention. You told me I should get the Play-Doh, whatever brand you want to get. Again, you can pick this up at the dollar store. It was a buck. You saw there, there's a bunch of different colors. I thought white candles, if I get white Play-Doh, that could work. But when there was no white and you saw the other colors, which was a pretty aqua color, kind of like my shirt, that would have been like my total pick. If I was playing with this for myself, which I do love me some Play-Doh. You know, growing up, I used to have this set. It was one of my favorite things to play with where the people look like little cone shapes and they had faces on them. It was called like, I don't know, the Play-Doh Beauty Salon. And what you would do, anybody else have it? It was like a barber chair that you would like stick to your counter or your table, mom loved that. And then I would slide the little head on over it and then you crank up this little, basically like this little plastic thing that went inside the cone that created the hair to come out of the hair follicles. And you had, you know, like all different kinds of people that you would use and create fun hair. And the spaghetti hair would come out it literally looked like spaghetti and then sometimes I would give them bangs and sometimes I would give them bobs and you know all kinds of fun stuff the worst thing was when the play-doh got stuck in all the little hair follicles because if you didn't clean that well it just dried so you'd sit there and you had to like pop them all out with a needle so you could go again right and you had this yeah anyway it was so much fun anybody else know what I'm talking about out there maybe they do a version of it now right Spaghetti Play-Doh hair gets everywhere, but it's so much fun. Do you guys have a favorite toy that you remember growing up? That was definitely one of the top ones that I personally remember. <laughs> so yeah, no white. The other color I thought about is this blue because it was blue and the candle holders were blue, right? If there was black or white, that's probably the good classics to go with for this particular um, candle holder hack that we're about to do to keep your candles standing up straight. Or if you can find some Play-Doh that's a general color. I had to touch that for a second. I'm like, please don't be dry. Or if it's a general color of your candle holders. So like, for example, I've, I've just did some candle holders in recent months in um, Be My Honey. So yellow would be good for that. And I am not above painting some Play-Doh. All right, if I stick this in there and this is too bright, don't be surprised if I take up my paintbrush and just jump monkey over the top of that, all right? Because once that dries, we can totally do that. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh my, oh guys, smell it, smell it. Oh, the Play-Doh smells so good. I love the smell of Play-Doh. I have not played with Play-Doh. I don't even remember. What is it about a smell that can take you back? Music takes you back, smells take you back, but this, this smell, my friends, okay. I want you all to go out to the Dollar Tree, get yourself one dollar pack of Play-Doh, bring it home, put it on your office desk, whatever, and when you need a little distressing, just smell the Play-Doh because it will take you back to simpler times. We now interrupt this video so Sonia can play with Play-Doh, the very best stress relieving strategy there is on the planet. Oh my gosh. Okay, all right, stick with it, Sonia, stick with it. Focus, focus. Okay, so here is what we're going to do. I'm just gonna take a little bit right here and I'm gonna stick the bottom of my candle into it because that's the part that would stick down at the bottom, right, right there just to fill in those extra gaps. And then we're going to stick it in. Nice, I 
like that. Awesome. I think this was some Stanley fur. I've had these sitting in the front window and but they haven't had candles into them, of course. And Stanley likes to get in the front window because Stan the man, our kitty cat, he likes to, and he thinks he's a human, right? But he likes to lay in the very front window and watch the traffic and stuff go by. So he's been laying around these. Better not be messing with my candlesticks, but I'm hoping the Play-Doh stuck down in here will help them. So if he does brush up against them, they're not as likely to fall over, right? I love this. I love this. I can't wait to put these in my living room. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. And I really feel like I can move them a little bit more and not have to worry. This one right here, I might have to put a little bit more into. Let's see here. I think this is the first one I started with. Let me add a little bit more to this one. So yeah. This works out quite nice. I might have to go and take out my paper towels, my wet paper towels uh, in my other ones and do this as well. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I think I, I got, I'm so glad I got these at the thrift store. I'm so glad I took them home. They're beautiful. And I just feel like it fits the vibe of what I like in my home and just, yeah, just the style. Just an extra, extra little something, something. It's got all those curves and just feels French provincial and swirly and Queen Anne and yeah, it just feels a little sophisticated, you know? So we had to put some paint on them, of course. Take them from plain brown to a little bit of color. Again, your house is your home, so you should decorate it the way that you love. Oh, and I got lots of Play-Doh left over. Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs and I'm gonna give this to Matt and who wants to bet that he is going to be like, What's that? Give me that. And then he's not gonna be able to put it down because I know just as much as I'm hooked on this right now, he's gonna love it too. Blast from the past. If you're somebody out there that's watching right now and you're, you have kids and you're still playing with Play-Doh, I applaud you. Boy, have I missed this. <laughs> Good times. All right, friends, I will see you guys back again tomorrow. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below anything. Just leave me a heart, say hello. I love to hear from you guys. Let me know if you are enjoying my videos and if so, I'll be back again. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Take care, bye.